All I wanted to do was uh, do a little small job on the truck and now I oversprayed the whole car. All right guys, so today is not a happy day for me. You guys know I had this car painted and I did it about a year ago on the channel and this is a custom candy paint job. So while we were doing that little repair on the truck, we went ahead and we oversprayed the car. So you can hear it when you wipe it and uh, it's got overspray on it and it landed on the top surface of this trunk here. So we're gonna try to get it off of there and hopefully we're not gonna be doing too much because this has such a nice finish on it right now and it's polished up to a nice luster that I don't wanna have to start back down by wet sanding it and using all kinds of compounds and wool pads and all that stuff. So we're gonna try to pick up something at the local store and I do have stuff from the body shop here if we have to get to that level of it. But we're gonna start off with the finest thing I could get my hands on and uh, let's try that out first. All right, so this here's the product we're gonna try out first and this is a synthetic clay and it looks like here it says that it'll do 25 cars. And then I also picked up this uh, ceramic speed shine is what they recommend to use with this uh, synthetic clay bar. So this is supposed to be a fine, real fine uh, way of doing it so you don't make a lot of scratches in it because sometimes with those uh, clay bars, you'll get scratches because there'll be stuff in the bar or it's just coarse enough that it will actually scratch the paint. So I have a clay bar here and uh, if we have to get to that stage, we will, but we're gonna try this out first and see what this does. And this is the Griot's Garage. So this here I'm hoping is not that strong being it was a spray can, but it is a 2K uh, product. So it might be pretty strong on this trunk and it might be hard to get off, but we're gonna first try out that uh, synthetic bar and see what that does. And hopefully we don't have to get into wet sand in this because that's a whole nother animal trying to get this thing back up to a nice luster. So let's go ahead and uh, hit it with this clay bar and see what it does with this uh, ceramic speed shine. All right, so we're gonna wipe the car off in the area we're doing first, just so that there's nothing on it. And this car is covered up at all times. So there really isn't anything on here, but just in case there's something on it, we're gonna go ahead and wipe it. That way we don't scratch it. And uh, just get it wiped off the area or wash your car if you have a dirty car. But like I say, this one's covered up all the time in here. Just that one day that I did that bumper was the only day that I didn't have it covered up. And that goes to show you how things work out. So I didn't think I would overspray it being it was just a spray can, but that spray can actually does put out a big pattern. And I should have thought about that before I started and closed up the garage at least. So we got it clean. And now we'll try out this uh, product here and see if this will do it. All right, so I want you guys to listen here. You can hear the overspray on the paint. And now we'll go ahead and try out this product and see if it'll take it off. So I'm just gonna hit it with the ceramic speed shine. And then uh, this here gives you a handle on this here foam. And hopefully it's gonna take it off without scratching it. Cause this is a brand new uh, pad here. So that you'll wanna definitely use a new one to me on something like this, I wouldn't go using something old after a couple uses, you'll start to get stuff probably on the pad and damage it. But we're just gonna try it on here, rub it on and see if it'll help us get it off. And like I say, I'm hoping that that 2K ain't as strong as I think it is. and I'm just uh, keeping it lubed up, that way it don't stick. So far I like it, it's not really like the clays where it'll get stuck and leave marks from the clay on it. But we're just rust rubbing it around, keeping it lubed, and I guess between the two products here, they recommend and it'll supposedly take it off of there. But if this was a uh, true urethane clear from the gun, I know it would be definitely hard to get off and We'll find out in a minute here once I wipe this down to see how much it's uh, doing for us. All right, so I'm just going to see how it's doing so far on this area here. I'm going to wipe it off. I did about half the trunk and uh, we'll see how it does. Hopefully, like I say, I hope it doesn't really scratch it up much because it's really a pain once you start 
taken off a brilliant gloss like this trying to get it back up to where it's at now and that will be a whole nightmare for me so maybe this here will do the job that I'm looking for. All right, so I went ahead and uh, dried it. And now we'll run our hand over there and we'll see. I tell you what, it's gone. You guys can hear before how it was making that rough sound. You couldn't really see the overspray, but you could definitely feel it. That's how I noticed it. Because I usually wipe this car down every time I take it out because I don't wash the car. I don't like to get water on it. And I just towel it down with a detail spray every time I put it back in the garage before I cover it up. And I felt it right away. I could tell that it had something on it. And I had remembered that we did that video of the uh, bumper end on there. So this side right now so far is smooth. There's nothing on it. Let's go back over here. And there you go. You can hear it now and feel it on this area here so looks like that's a good product and uh, this is the first time I've actually used it so I would recommend it for sure and I have the other clays here that you guys know the clay magic that works pretty good too but this stuff here can get in and around emblems and get stuck in spots so right now I gotta say for a quick fix to get overspray off this here synthetic clay really works nice and it actually is weird it almost feels like it's just kind of like a uh, rubber i'm not even sure what this is actually made out of but it worked so at least i got that off of there without having to get crazy and when you look from the side you don't see any real scratches in the paint from it at all so if anybody gets overspray in your car this is definitely a good product and you guys know we don't want to have to do anything to this one here because this was a uh, really nice candy job that we did on the channel. So if you haven't seen that, go back and maybe check out us painting this one here on the channel. And uh, I'll probably have to run around the whole car with it because I think it actually got up here too, up on the fenders too. So I'll probably later on in the week or this weekend, hit this whole top of the car, maybe even run around the whole thing again, just to make sure that it has no overspray on it. But Definitely beware of the uh, overspray. All right, so it looks like we lucked out with the overspray on the car and we're not gonna have to really get into doing too much to it. And I'm really uh, happy about it because this is the last thing I wanna do is have to go ahead and polish this car and get it back to the way it looks now because it really has a beautiful luster on it. So I'll run around the outside of this thing lightly with that synthetic uh, spray and the um, clay bar and it should get this thing back up to the way that it was. So it didn't actually haze over the paint at all. It just left a light mist of overspray on it. And uh, you guys can see here, it's gone. I'm rubbing on it and you have no sign of overspray left on there. So definitely a good product. If anybody has any overspray, you're doing a job or I've seen a lot of guys get work done at the dealership or have their car at the dealership getting work done to it and somebody's out in the parking lot doing some uh, lot lizard work and oversprays your car. Definitely a good option to go down to uh, AutoZone and pick up some of that uh, synthetic clay bar. So we lucked out on this one and uh, I was really worried about it because there's nothing I want to do but to spend my weekends buffing out a car like this. So if anybody gets some overspray on their car, try out that uh, synthetic clay bar. Definitely works well and you guys seen it here. So beware of the spray can.